Yo, how's it going everyone? Welcome to my first ever DKO video. It's going to be a short one because I've seen a lot of people not being, uh, not punishing people when they can be punching them. And this is more for newer players, uh, for those that are more sort of well versed in this game, uh, looking at you here TV, then this video is definitely not for you. So... What I'm going to show you real quick, we're just going to go into the practice real quick with Izanami because I feel like Izanami can better show you what I'm on about. So it's learning how to punish players and different things that they do. So for example, everyone when they dodge, you'll see this uh, sort of like white faded sort of animation on them. Every character does this. Every character does this. Once that ability has gone on cooldown, you can punish them. So using a, a, a more, what I would say, a softer ability or getting them into a an attack combo, for example, like this. For example, like, you know, you're going to be burning the dodge. Once you've seen that dodge be burnt, make sure you're hitting them with punishing abilities or just f following up with a punishing combo because you know they can't get out of it for another three seconds this is where you want to be hitting your ultimates and you know b abilities like is an army's three for example or, or her r which is defaulted here this is her r this is when you want to be punishing people is when their dodge is burned the other place that you want to punish them is at the end of a light attack chain so what i've seen a lot of new people doing is they're trying to attack while someone's like running away and because they're running away they're not getting that exact distance so their attacks kind of look like this and they're not connecting to anyone at all you're just chasing with an attack once that third one's gone on you've got about a second and a half to absolutely punish someone and devastate them so definitely look out for people who are like spamming their attacks over and over again because there is a good chance you can get in with that opportunity attack and follow up and just do some devastating damage the other thing i will say is if you miss your first two attacks if you're say for example if you're chasing someone and you go for two hold off on the third don't hit the third because you can just reset you can dodge you can get out of any sticky situation just make sure when you're attacking if you've missed the first two don't try to follow up with the third there's, there's no point unless you you know for a fact that third is going to hit someone then okay sure you can follow up with the third but the problem is once you've hit with that third some characters only have two by the way ymir only has a two light attack chain but once you've missed with that you are very open for punishing so if you are a new player and you're spamming your attacks then I would definitely suggest maybe not spamming them as much and maybe just gently tapping because they still come out at the same time. I can like spam, spam attack here. I'm spamming, spamming. And now I'm going to softly click one, one, one. About the same. Again, if you just gently tap it, you've got more control over your character and you can just back out if you need to. If you've missed those first two, it's very critical that if you miss your first two, to back out reset go in again because there's no point in being in their face once you've missed your three and then going oh now i can get hit with x y and z ability oh this guy's going to punish me with a heavy a charged heavy anything under the sun so definitely 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 make sure that you're not doing that anyway that's going to be it for this short video uh if you enjoyed it hit that like button subscribe if you are new and i'll see you in the next one we are very close to a thousand subs if we can hit that by the end of the year that'd be great take care and i'll see you in the next one bye bye Mwah.